Okay, continuing the answer to chess for this month. Playing a 15 minute, five second game. Let's break it down a little bit more now. We've got a bit more time to focus. So the knight is attacking the pawn. It's also developing it in preparation for potential castling on the king side. So it's attacking key spaces, key pieces, trying to manage the center, trying to obliterate the center if we can to make more space for our pieces to be able to move. So we're going to attack this pawn in the center to see whether or not we're going to close or open the center. Like we said, probably we like to have more space for our pieces to mobilize towards their king. So simply capturing the pawn with the support of the queen. So they've come out, they're being aggressive, trying to win a tempo, going to take. Usually the queen comes here because it's going to look for a mate threat. So we'll bring the queen here. So it's understanding the patterns as well. They haven't done that. So have they lost a little bit of development time? I'm going to bring the queen here to preempt that. And look to get the bishop out, potentially kingside castling. So knowing the patterns that you're familiar with, it doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get the same response that you're expecting, but at least you're able to block off the initial types of attacks that the opponent is kind of planning. So we can take, we are developing their knight for them to attack this pawn here. Am I going to lose any sleep over that? Not really, because they end up doubling our pawns. We could bring our bishop here. If we were doing the mistake to take type thing, probably bring the bishop here supporting so that we could go and castle. But then the queen can go dancing anywhere and then they'll still have a big gun on the board. So I'm going to do simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically, develop the bishop supporting the pawn, making space for simple castling. So if I... In my head, I'm saying if I'm going into many sentences about a calculation, I need to take a step back and say, oh, that might be a little bit too arty. It might work, you know, um, keeping the tension, that type of stuff. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. But why not let the basics work for us in our games? Basic, simple chess does work. All right, so they've moved their pawn because they want their bishop to get activated. I'm going to attack the knight. Maybe potentially we get to double the pawns. I doubt it. I think it's going to move either here or here. So they've only just kingside castled. You would think that they, yeah, exactly. They wouldn't want. We can go here, but he's wanting us to attack here so that then this knight comes and attacks the rook. So we're going to attack the knight with a smaller piece. So a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Usually can't be wrong. I think they'll jump here to attack the bishop. I don't have an issue with the bishop being taken. Just brings the pawns into line a little bit in the center. And of course, we don't have to have the bishop being taken. We can move it here. But then obviously he takes there. So we'll, we can move it here. If we wanted to, but is that being too arty? You know, I could develop another piece such as the knight. So they're taking a while over this move, which is the most obvious move to make. Attacking the bishop. If we bring our knight here, then they take the bishop off the board. We take with the pawn. Our knight is developed at the minute. And what else can they do? They'll be looking to... Oh, it's going for the knight and the bishop for... Did not expect that at all. Let's just take it. Knight and the bishop for the rook. He's done a fried liver type thing. Okay, so... We will have more pieces on the butt. Right? So we can't move the rook anyway. So they're looking to try and get more of their pieces in line. Unlucky we can't bring the bishop here and attack their bishop. But we can bring the bishop here to defend the knight, rook. 
So the potential advantage that they were trying to gain, we will still have more pieces on the board. And they're chasing down the bishop, but I don't think that... They're going to take eventually, so I'm not sure why they're... So we can move the king out of the way. If they're continuing to do this manoeuvre here, we can just move the bishop. So they'd eventually take... That's a load of arty business. Absolute, total arty business. The answer process for us, we know that they've only got one, two, three pieces. We've got one, two, three, four pieces. So it's going to be a little bit harder for them to actually get mobilised. All they've got at the minute are two flat rooks and one flexible bishop. So we need to get activated. Maybe getting the knight here. We've got options with the knight. And just utilise the strengths of the flexible pieces that we've got. So yes, a little bit confused about all of this. Maybe they were trying to get their pawns further advanced up the board, you know, to give us a little bit of something to think about. But I'm not really too concerned because the head of the snake, as we know, can be hit. All right, so making space there. Let's get the knight moved, like we said. Potential for jumping into here even. Jump in here. So let's jump the knight in here and attack the pawn. It's got no protection at the minute. Maybe they're looking to just try and open this space up so the rook can come down or something. No, so they've gone defense nanny, which is a good thing for us. So we can just hit the head of the snake, like we said. Their bishop is going to be chomping at the bit to get this pawn, but we're looking to make space around their king area, which is the answer to chess process. So let's take. So every move means something. So this could work out quite nicely. If we bring the bishop here, just to stop the pawn from, in fact, we don't need to worry about that pawn dropping just yet. Could even get the king here. Let's bring the knight around. I think the knight is going to be the, the one. Get the king here, two on one. So the rook's looking to defend now. So they're playing defense nanny. So I'll still go with this. Rook attacking. Comes here, he's got a two on one. And I think we might be ready to rock and roll. The threat of attacking the king and the rook. So probably bringing the rook down, maybe not there, but here or something to stop that. Got sights off this diagonal as well, trying to make a break in there. And you know, we could have just done this and got the rook off the board. So I think we will do this and just get the rook off the board. Could have gone this way as well with the knight attacking the king. But I think more pieces into the frame. And it looks like the opponent has left the game. Click here. And let's have a look at the evaluation and see what it's saying. Yes, that's looking half decently okay. So castling, castling. And we explained all of these and the knight comes down and we attack the knight. And we did not expect them to go for the fried liver type thing. Uh, computer's not happy with it anyway. Um, because they're going to be down many pieces. So yeah, I was very confused with this pawn pushing down. Because at the end of the day, we're happy for the rook to be taken. What is it suggesting? Saying bishop d2. So it's bringing the bishop back here. So it's not really worried about the... Because the rook is going anyway. That's basically what it's saying. Um, we're just looking to see if we can protect the rook and get a better position for the bishop. And they keep coming down, looking to pressure. And we can move the king off the way, but we still know the rook is going to be taken. And they come and attack. Now, we move the bishop. It's happy with us. It's not saying it's a problem. And we capture. So at this stage, we were saying basically we've got more pieces on the board than the opponent. Granted, it's only one extra piece, but that one extra piece 
against the flat rooks and the flat rooks are not really working together is a little bit of an advantage computers agreeing at this point in time so we start to develop the knight and start mo mobilizing and attacking the head of the snake doesn't like the attack on the head of the snake i'm comfortable with it i would do it again it's saying a4 so it's pushing this pawn just blocking that activity there that's fair that's fair enough but sticking with my man the mantra that we like to work with um hitting the head of the snake it's probably dropped because also the bishop does take but we had a plan set for having space around their king and i think you have to be able to take those types of chances and uh, we did explain it in the game so the bishop does come down but as you can see the gauge bound is now shooting up for us because now it suddenly understands what benefits we actually have and with the pawn pushing down we bring the knight across looking to get into the game and put pressure onto the pawn putting a two on one and it's just getting worse for the opponent we bring the knight up looking to fork the king and the queen and then realizing oh we could have actually brought the bishop could have brought the bishop there it's actually saying yeah bishop c4 check yep yeah. but they didn't do anything about any of that so we took advantage and at that point the opponent left the game so the answer to chess process is really just about position checks captures threats support blocking then back to position again out of those the position is key because you can have a check on the king but does it improve your position on the board you can attack a key space but does it really improve your position you can attack a key piece but does it improve your position so at each move the position is always there does it improve your position is it making it worse so it's key to always throw in position 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 have it at the start position checks captures threats support blocking back to position again and that's the basics of the answer to chess process that helps us to choose simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically